dear students how are you all i hope all you are keeping fine i am sukul hamram this video clip is part 1 of computer standard 6 dear students kindly open your book page number 92 today we shall learn chapter 9 that is introduction to plus cs6 in this chapter we shall learn about what animation is starting plus creating a new plus document plus tools panel and the function of some tools saving a plus document opening a plus document and exiting plus let us read the lesson and learn from it introduction to plus cs6 what is animation animation is the movement of characters and objects on the screen just as you see in cartoon movies adobe plus professional cs6 is a software with the help of which we can create animations for games studies and other contents animation software was first developed as smart sketch by jonathan gai macromedia acquired it and renamed it as plus it is now developed by adopt as an integral part of its creative suite for cs plus cs6 is the latest multi purpose software package with the help of which we can create pictures and images these are known as graphics by using flash you can also import graphics that have been created in some other software it also allows you to create still and animated text and objects for websites in plus you have the option to move rotate expand contract and morph the objects you can also make them disappear or fade in the background advantages of plus it is a powerful drawing tool and a movie editor it is easy to use with drag and drop user interface components it provides several special effects that you can add to objects graphics created in plus are much smaller in file size animated presentations created in plus can be converted into executable dotx files it provides interactive graphics and animation for the web you can attach and work with sound files to enhance an animation you can draw and animate graphics such as online greeting cards and cartoons starting plus to start adobe plus cs6 follow the steps given below 
Step 1. Click on the Start button. Step 2. Click on All Programs. Step 3. Click on Adopt Master Collection CS6. Step 4. Click on Adopt Flash Professional CS6. You can also start Flash by double clicking on the Adopt Flash CS6 shortcut icon present on the desktop screen. Creating a new Flash document. In order to create or open a new Flash document, start Adopt Flash and follow the steps given below. Step 1. Click on File. Step 2. Click on New. The new document dialog box will appear. Step 3. By default, Action Script 3.0 file type is selected. If not, select it. Step 4. Click on OK. Page number 94. On starting Adopt class and creating a new document, you can see a window similar to the following figure on your monitor. Dear students, let us know more about introduction to Plus C S six. This is a program where we can present the views or information by using the Plus C S six software, and it is a presentation program. So let us see what is animation. Animation is the movement of characters or objects on the screen just as we see in cartoon movies and Adobe Plus Professional CS6 is a software and with the help of which we can create animations for games, studies, and other contents. Animation software was first developed as Smart Sketch by Jonathan Guy and Macromedia acquired it and renamed it as plus and it is now developed by adopt as an integral part of its creative suite in short it is called cs and plus cs6 is the latest multi-purpose software package with the help of which we can create pictures and images. And advantages of class. What is the advantages and what is the facility of plus CS6? It is a powerful drawing tool and a movie editor. Then, second, it is easy to use with drag and drop user interface components. Then, third, it provides several special effects that we can add to object. Then, four is graphics created in plus are 
much smaller in file size then five animated presentations created in flash can be converted into executable dot x file then six is it provides interactive graphics and animation for the web then seven we can attach and work with sound files to enhance an animation then eight is we can draw and animate graphics such as online greeting cards and cartoons so this these are the advantages of plus cs6 next starting a plus to start a plus window we have to follow four step and this four steps are step 1 is click on the start button then step 2 click on all programs then step 3 click on adobe master collection cs6 then step 4 is click on adobe plus professional cs6 and we can also start plus by double clicking on the adobe plus cs6 shortcut key and it is present on the desktop screen then creating a new plus drives dear students to create new plus document we have to follow four steps and these four steps are step 1 is click on file then step 2 click on new and new document dialog box will appear then step 3 by default action script is 3.0 then file type is selected if it is not selected select it then step 4 click on okay then new plus document will displayed on the window the main components of the plus cs6 window are menu bar the menu bar shows the various items or options that you can click to start from the plus window stage the stage is the main working area like the drawing canvas where drawing can be created for animation by default the stage size in plus cs6 is 550 into 400 pixel tools panel the tools panel contains drawing and formatting tools that can be used for selecting objects in plus you can draw graphics from it in the work space property inspector panel the property inspector panel displays the properties of the selected tools and is used for changing the settings of the stage and the frame rate timeline the timeline has layers frames and playhead it contains a set of frames 
दैट आर टू बी क्विकली डिस्प्लेड टू क्रिएट एनिमेशन इफेक्ट ऑफ फिगर्स एडिशनल पैनल फ्लैश आल्सो कंटेंट्स सम एडिशनल पैनल्स दैट कैन बी यूज्ड फॉर एडवांस्ड फॉर्मेटिंग एंड एनिमेशन टेक्निक्स टूल्स पैनल द टूल्स कंटेंट इन द टूल्स पैनल help in drawing coloring and modifying an object we can create shapes such as rectangle circle line or any other object using these tools the tools panel is divided into four areas tools view colors and options tools section contents selection drawing and painting tools view section contents zooming tools colors section contents tools for changing the colors at the bottom of the tools panel are options called modifiers that modify how the tools function some tools provide extra options that are hidden clicking on the flyer of the tool brings the hidden options page number 96 line tool The line tool can be used for drawing straight lines on stage. Follow these steps to use the line tool. Step 1, click on the line tool. Step 2, from the property inspector panel, you can select the color, thickness or line style as required. step 3 place the mouse pointer on the stage now you can click the mouse button and drag in the direction in which you want to draw the line step 4 on releasing the mouse button you will find that the line selected style has been drawn on the stage a rectangle tool you can use the rectangle tool to draw a simple rectangle or a square it also gives you an option to create a rectangle with rounded corner follow these steps step 1 select the rectangle tool step 2 you can select the properties for the stroke color stroke style and stroke height from the property inspector panel step 3 you can select the fill color tool and choose the color of your preference step 4 take the mouse pointer at the place where you want to draw the rectangle or square click and hold the mouse button and drag it till you get the required size of the rectangle when you release the mouse button you can see the rectangle on the stage rectangles and squares with rounded corners follow these steps to draw rectangles and squares with rounded corners step 1 go to the rectangle options and enter a value for radius step 2 go to a stage and draw the rounded rectangle in the same way you can draw rounded 
square. Page number 98. Pencil tool. The pencil tool can be used for drawing free hand lines and curves. You can use this tool to draw the shape which is not present in the tools funnel. Follow these steps. Step 1. Click the pencil tool. Step 2. From the property inspector panel, set the properties of the pencil. It shows you the same options as those for lines tool. Step 3. Place the mouse pointer on the stage from where you want to draw the desired shape and click and drag the mouse. When you release the mouse button, you can see the desired shape. Oval tool The oval tool can be used to create closed circular shapes. Step 1. Click and hold the rectangle tool. You will see a drop down menu. Step 2. You can select oval tool from this menu. Step 3. From the property inspector panel, set the properties of the oval. It shows the same options as those present in the rectangle tool. Step 4. Click on the point at a stage and draw the shape by holding and dragging the mouse. When you release the mouse, the circular shape will be drawn. Polyster tool. The polyster tool can be used for drawing closed figures that are not four-sided. By using this tool, you can draw a triangle, pentagon, hexagon, as well as other closed figures. Follow the, these steps. Step 1. Click and hold the rectangle tool to open the drop-down menu. Step 2. Select the polyester tool, the property inspector panel of the polyester tool is similar to the rectangle tool. The only difference is that it has an options button at its bottom. Step 3. Click on the options button. The tool settings dialog box will appear. Step 4. Click on the tool settings dialog box and click on the drop down arrow to choose either polygon or star. Specify the number of sides you want for your figure in the text box. Click on OK. Step 5. Now you can click and drag the mouse to draw the shape and release the mouse button. Main components of plus CS6. Dear students, all program has a main components. In the same way, plus CS6 has also main components. And these main components are menu bar, stage, tools panel, property inspector panel, timeline, additional panels, and tools panels. Menu bar. The menu bar shows the various items or options 
and that we can click to start from the plus window then stage the stage is the main working area like the drawing canvas or drawing area where drawings can be created for animation and in this program by default the stage size is in plus cs6 is 550 into 400 pixel this is the normal size or default size of the plus window then tools panel what is tools panel the tools panel contains drawing and formatting tools and that can be used for selecting objects in plus and we can draw graphics from it in the work space then property inspector panel the property inspector panel display the properties of the selected tools and it is used for changing the settings of the stage and the frame rate then timeline timeline has layers frames and play head it contains a set of frames that are to be quickly displayed to create animation effect of figures then additional panels plus also contents some additional panels and that can be used for advanced formatting and animation techniques then tools panel the tools panel contents in the tools panel help in drawing coloring modifying an object and we can create shapes such as rectangle circle line or any other object using this tools tools panel dear students professional plus cs6 contents various tools like a paint program and these tools are line tool rectangle tool rectangles and squares with rounded corner pencil tool oval tool polyester tool eraser tool paint bucket tool and text tool etc so let us see line tool the line tool we use for drawing straight lines on stage and we can use this tool with four steps in step 1 click on the line tool then step 2 from the property inspector panel you can select the color thickness or line style as our required then step 3 place the mouse pointer on the stage and you can click the mouse button and drag in the direction in which we want to draw the line then step 4 on releasing the mouse button we will find that the line selected style has been drawn on the stage 
then rectangle tool by selecting the rectangle tool we can draw a simple rectangle or a square and it also gives us an option to create a rectangle with rounded corner then third is rectangles and squares with rounded corner in this case we have to follow two steps to make the rectangle corner rounded or squares corner rounded in step 2 in step 1 go to the rectangle option and enter a value for radius then step 2 go to the stage and draw the rounded rectangle in the same way we can draw rounded square also then pencil tool pencil tool we can use for drawing free hand lines or curves and we can use this tool to draw the shape which is not present in the tools panel then oval tool the oval tool can be used to create closed circular shape then polyester tool the polyester tool can be used for drawing closed figures and that are not four sided by using this tool we can draw a triangle pentagon hexagon as well as other closed figures page number 100 eraser tool the eraser tool can be used to erase the drawings or some of its proportions that are not required by you to do this follow the given steps step 1 select the eraser tool step 2 you will notice that there are many shapes of erasers to change the shape and size of eraser a click on eraser shape in the options of tools panel to see the list of shapes and size b select the required eraser step 3 click on the drawing and drag the mouse to erase it and release the mouse when you have completed erasing the drawing or a portion of it will be deleted paint bucket tool the paint bucket tool is used to fill color in a closed object follow these steps step 1 select the paint bucket tool step 2 from the property inspector panel click the fill color drop down arrow to open color palette step 3 select the required color and click inside the figure to fill color in it text tool the text tool is used to add text with drawings and animations this tool is used to type text matter on the screen follow these steps step 1 select the text tool step 2 you can choose the color font font size for your text 
from the property inspector panel. Step 3. Click on the area of the stage where you want to type the text. Now start typing the text. Creating a new flash document. To create a new flash document, start Adobe Flash and follow these steps. Step 1. Click on File and select New option. The New Document dialog box will be displayed. Step 2. Select the Flash file or Action Script 3.0 option from the type list. Step 3. Click on OK. A new Flash document will be created for you to start with. Page number 102. Step 4. Click on the line tool. Step 5. Set it thickness in property inspector. Step 6. Draw a line by clicking in the stage and then drag. Saving a flash document. When you finish your task, you must save the flash document. Follow the steps given below to save the flash document. Step 1. Click on the file menu. Step 2. Click on save option. You will see the save as dialog box. Step 3. In the file name box, type the file name. Step 4. Click on save as and your file will get saved by the name you typed. Opening a saved flash document. In order to open an existing flash document, follow these steps. Step 1. Click on file. Step 2. Click on open. The open dialog box will get displayed. Step 3. Select the file you want to open. Step 4. Click on open. The file will open for you to work in it. Exiting plus. When you finish your task, you must exit plus by one of the following methods. Click on the plus button on top right corner of the plus window or click on file and then click on exit from the menu bar or press ctrl plus q keys or press alt plus f4 keys then eraser tool the eraser tool we can use to erase the drawings or some of its portion and that are not required by us. To do this we have to follow three steps. In step one select the eraser tool from the toolbox and step two we will notice that there are many shapes of eraser. To change the shape and size of eraser, click on eraser shape in the options of tools panel and select the required eraser. Then step 3, click on the drawing and drag the mouse pointer and it will get erased. Then paint bucket. The paint bucket tool is used to fill color in a clo closed object. And we can use this tool with three steps. In step one, select the paint bucket tool. Then step two, from the property inspector panel, click the fill color drop down arrow to open color palette. Then step three, 
select the required color and click inside the figure to fill color in it. Then text tool. The text tool is used to add text with drawings and animations and this tool is used to type text matter on the screen then creating a new plus document to creating new plus document we have to follow three steps and according to these three steps we can create a new document and these three steps are in step one click on file and select new option then the new document dialog box will appear on the window then step two select the plus file option from the type list then step three click on ok and a new plus document will be created to start with it then saving a plus document we can save a plus document with four steps and these steps are step one click on the file menu then step two click on save option we will see the save as dialog box then step three in the file name box type the file name then step four click on save as and the file will get saved by the name we typed then opening a saved plus document to open a saved plus document we have to follow four steps these are step one click on file step two click on open the open dialog box will appear then step three select the file we want to open then step 4 click on open the file will open for us to work in it then exiting flash how we can exit or close the flash window when we finish our task we must exit or close the flash by one of the following methods and this are uh, these methods are click on the close button on the top right corner of the plus window or click on file and then click on exit from the menu bar or press ctrl plus q key or press the alt plus f4 key with this four methods we can close the plus or we can exit the plus window 